All right, Human Relations Commission, this is your January 24th meeting to kick off the new year. And I will give it over to your chair. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for dedicating some time to meet today. I appreciate that very much. Um, uh, do we have someone to step in as secretary to be able to take the notes for this meeting? Lupe, thank you, Lupe. All right, so with a, we, with a majority, I will call this meeting to order. It is 11.06. All right, so let's start off with the uh, minutes from last, uh, from October. Um, did anybody have a, did everybody have a chance to go over and review those? All right. The only thing I have to, I need clarity on is it said that, um, the way it was worded was that the review of the goals was done and it said items one, two, three, four, and 10 are all items that are, or we are currently either working on or have accomplished some of the goals and continue to address the following commissioners will spearhead the remaining open goals and listed are the commissioners. That's not the way I remember that. I remember that commissioners signed up to address one, two, three, four, and 10 of the goals. And the other ones in between, we were gonna put on the back table because they dealt with the IPD. And at that time they had just went through some uh, tragedy in their department so we were trying to give them up so i just want to make sure that i'm clear on the intention of what that uh, number five is sam um were these minutes that were submitted by helen okay yeah and that we have november minutes you said october did you we oh, do have minutes I'm in, sorry it's That's whatever okay. <laughs> it's oh, the minute. Yeah. So in five, did it not say? Because I do. I'm looking at them now. And number five, it does say that we were going to address one, two, three, four, and ten. And then I, we did reiterate um, that the rest we were going to. Um, and we said this will give us time to put together a year and report. Blah blah blah. But that no additional work was happening. So I thought that was in there. Did you see well, what? How I just read. I'm reading it as that. We're not doing anything with one, two, three, four, and ten because we're already doing stuff with that. And that the remaining non-mentioned items that were IPD would be delegated to the people that had signed up. And I see it, I there was opposite I gotcha. that in it's the way it's written. I would agree. So um it's if we could just make that correction in the minutes to uh I I if we can, if that's the understanding of the commission, I want to make sure that it was my understanding that commissioners volunteered to give their input on item numbers one, two, three, four, and 10 from the goals of the Human Relations Commission and that um, the remaining five, six, seven, eight, nine were going to be put on the back burner at that time. I would agree. That's how I recall it. So maybe just um, retweaking that language to um, reiterate just what you said would be sufficient. I'm just giving Lupe a moment to. <laughs> Dad, do you want that to be reflected in these minutes or do you want it to be reflected in January's minutes? Which would you prefer? Um, I would prefer it in these minutes just so that way when we look back at it, that, that if we ever look back at it, it's corrected there. You got it. All right. Thank you. Lupe, are you good? All right. So I apologize. We just moved into a new place and there's lots of new sounds in my uh, apartment and the dogs are probably going to go crazy at any new sound they're not used to. So I apologize. So where did that go? Back up to the agenda. OK, so with that change being submitted, um, can I get a motion to approve the minutes from November, the November meeting? I make a motion to approve the November meetings with the uh, with the corrections. And is that Daryl? Is that correct? That's correct. All right, perfect. And a second. I second. And I'll second. OK, oh, sorry. <laughs> Anthony can have it. Well, <laughs> you can Anthony. Anthony Lupe. 
All right. All right. Is there any further discussion on those minutes? All right. Is there any? OK, so I move that we approve those minutes. Thank you. All right, so next up on the agenda, we have the new members review. So Sam just sent out a, um, a new application. Did everybody get to see that new application that she sent out and review it? All right, so um, Sam, is there a protocol here that we need to go by? Yeah, so if you guys, it, it's a it's up to you how you want to approach these. Uh, on Thursday, we only had two, so that was kind of a little bit easier to, to process. Now that we have three, um, if there is an individual that's on this commission that is familiar with any of these individuals, I do know, I noticed that on Mindy's, um, she's worked with CSL, so I don't know if, you know, you, Meredith is familiar with her, um, but basically if you want to recommend any of the three individuals, we have Mindy Meadows, homeowner since 2017, um, has been an independence volunteer, works with, with uh, has volunteered with Harvesters, CSO, Operation Breakthrough, St. Luke's. She is in the 31 to 41 Caucasian female um, group. Let me see. So if I may, just yes. with viewing these, um, I'm really torn here because I actually do know Mindy, but okay. um, I was really impressed with the other two applications and the information they put down about why they felt they were a good fit for the commission and what they brought to the table. So um, that was my only hesitancy is because Mindy, she didn't put why she wants to right. be on the Human Relations Commission. Um, so when it was just two, I thought, well, maybe we should like respond and ask her to like fill out that portion because she just put down the basic information about who she is you know yeah but i don't know any of the candidates um I, so yeah, sure. but oh. i was impressed with their information that they put into the application right i agree i was impressed with the other two so maybe to give mindy a chance should we ask her you know like why i don't know if what the time limit is or anything there, there's, i mean there isn't a time limit we just I, I certainly want the commission to have the the support of as many members as they can so i don't want to go too long without having um this but i think it's a very valid point to to reach back out to the individual who's interested and make sure that the application is as fully uh, detailed as possible is, is, so is, and does everyone feel okay with that? Uh, reaching out, uh, uh, reaching out to Mindy and asking her for more information so that we can better get a good choice between all three. I agree. And then um, we would definitely make a decision by the next meeting. Okay. That that would be our cutoff time, I would think. Yep. Okay. Great. Um, I will reach out to Mindy. I'll take on that responsibility. I'll reach out to Mindy and ask her for more information if that's okay, Sam? Yes. Okay. I Sam. think Meredith wants to say something. Oh, go ahead. Hey. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. No, for just a matter of the minutes, I am going to um, abstain from weighing in. Um, I don't know Mindy personally, but um, colleagues do. Um, but I think also the application is a good opportunity for you to voice your, um, your commitment and kind of reason by, and it's really clear that we're asking for um, you to just share a little bit about your, your heart and passion. And so um, the two individuals that did made it abundantly clear why they wanted to join. So um, I support going back, but I'm, I'm always a first take kind of person. You know, if you're gonna do something right, you do it right the first time. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a fan of, uh, and actually, well, I don't know that we need to make the recommendation to move forward, but I am fine with the other two candidates that we received. Okay. Dad, with that comment from Meredith, I would highly recommend that someone make a motion to continue okay. reaching out to Mindy and vote on that. And then, and then if that does not pass, then I would recommend making Meredith making a motion and, and voting the other way. Sorry, it's a little confusing, but it, it would just be better on paper. All right, so uh, before we do that, Anthony, I see that you have your hand up. Yeah, I, I, I want to say I, I'm completely aligned with Meredith's statement. Um, I think that we have three good quality candidates. I think that two of them, though, kind of 
took that extra step. Um, they were asked to do it. They did it. And uh, I, I don't know any of the candidates personally, but I thought uh, um, the uh, Mindy, you know, she can find another commission or if we have an opening later, it's something that we can help with. But um, having troubles with quorums the way we are, uh, new members uh, sooner rather than later might be a good option. Okay. So, well, let me make the motion then to let me move uh, make a motion to um, move forward with the vote with the current applications that we have as is. I'll make that motion. And the second. So you're saying we're going to we're going to work vote. moving forward as is with the applications that we have to make a decision today. OK. Oh, OK, so we're going to make a decision on who we're filling today. Yeah, that would be this motion. This motion okay. is to proceed forward to decide <laughs> with the information that we have it right now. OK, so and Meredith second it. I made no. the motion. She made okay. the motion. OK, Meredith made the motion. I can second it. Who second it? Casey? Casey. Mm -hmm. okay. So do you want me to do the other motion first or do we vote on this one first? You would vote on this one that's okay. on the table now. Yeah. All right. So we'll yep. vote all the so all those in favor of moving forward with that motion and uh, making a decision today with the applications that we have, please make yourself known as a affirmative aye or raise your hand. Aye. I agree. Okay, I agree too. Was that Mike? Did you? Okay, Mike. Mike. So okay. Well, it looks like we have a majority there. Okay. So, Meredith, Meredith, sorry, Meredith, uh, Sam. <laughs> um, so, d how do we move forward with the vote between the three? Right. So then, someone needs to make a motion for the individual candidates, candidate or candidates that they would be willing to put forth for a vote. Okay. Anthony, did you? Oh, still raised. What? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Sorry, I just see your the little hand notification is still raised. I just wanted to make sure we got you taken care of. Okay. Okay, so who made the motion and who seconded it? Meredith made the motion. Okay. No, no there is no motion yet. We did oh. that. <laughs> so um, the new motion would be to, um, well, I'll start and go um, approving the, uh, the approval of uh, uh, Miss Griffiths. And Miss Miss Kennedy, I believe, are their two last names. Ms. or Mrs. I'm not sure of their affiliation. Um, and moving forward with those two applications that have the most information on them. I'll second their nominations. Okay. Right here. Are you good, Lupe? You got it? Okay. All right, then. All those in favor of moving forward with uh, approving the applications of, uh, I think, Lindsey Griffiths and Aaron Kennedy. Raise your hand. Me too. No, no, no. Daryl, is that a vote or a question? If vote. my lip it's okay. vote. If my lip reading is on point, it was both. All right, it looks like it's unanimous. Okay. All I will right. send out an email. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I'll send out an Perfect. email adding these two to the group and doing introductions as well. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everybody. All right, next up on the uh, agenda is event organi organizing. Um, so this I, I added to the agenda just because I felt there was a really um, a lack of communication with some of current events that are happening and just understanding what our role is for these events. And so I just want to really uh, clearly define what HRC's roles is are or in, in the events that we already do. Um, obviously, I know that an HRC event is the skateboard competition. Um, so and then I was confused with um, the Martin Luther King celebration because at one time the flat the flyer 
said that it was like an HRC event, but it's really put on by the Martin Luther, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Com com commission, coalition, coalition. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, and obviously Lupe, since you were on that, uh, that coalition, I just needed clarity on that. So what is HRC's role for the Martin Luther King Day celebration? Well, every year we always select the humanitarian award. And then, in fact, well, two of our uh, human relations members are on that ML coalition. So, I mean, that's probably the only thing that I'm aware of. So it's just mm -hmm. us devote, deciding who the humanitarian award goes to, bringing mm -hmm. and deciding who that is. Okay. Um, so and you did a great job, by the way. Oh. Gosh, you I I just presented an award. You all put on the oh. whole. <laughs> um, but congratulations on that event, Lupe. That it was a really nice event. The speaker was wonderful, and the entire evening was really nice. So uh, please send our thanks to the uh, coalition for a really great job. Yeah, because when I first went in on the committee, they needed somebody from the human relations committee. It was under um, John Mayfield, so I volunteered. And so I've been on it ever since. So that's our, you know, how we're connected. You okay. know, it's not really our event, but right. I that's, just wanted to clarify. Yes. Thanks. I appreciate that. So um, so um, from this point, any I think it should be clear that any HRC event definitely has a chair um, of that event. And then um, I think it should be important that that chair also has, um, I don't know, one to two other members from the commission to be able to do that at least obviously other outside volunteers are going to help but um so is does that sound reasonable like a chair and two committee members from the commission mm -hmm. that sounds fair yes. okay so um uh, i unfortunately nina's not here because it would be about the skateboard competition but um so I don't know if she wants to, con I know she wants that to continue to happen, but I don't know if she would like to step, let someone else take the reins for that for her. Um, I do know that Inglewood Arts um, has expressed a high interest in participating with that event, um, bringing um, art to it, uh, an art aspect. Um, the, one of the managers from the uh, Inglewood Arts um, actually participated in the skateboard competition this past year. So um, uh, there's definitely, I, I, I'll need to, I'll reach out to Nina personally, just to make sure to see what her intentions are, because obviously she's been the glue that's kind of held that together for the longest time, <clears throat> but she might want to break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, just, I just want to make sure, and, um, and Lupe and all the other previous members, um, if there is other things that are, historically done with HRC that I just making sure that we get that to um, the record to Sam or who, who so that we could get that into the strategic goals and planning so that it's written down that we that we know what our roles are where we're needed where we're you know, where we should be at does that make sense yeah it does I remember like maybe four years our commission was in charge of the like a heritage festival or a culture festival. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I just wanted to say it for the, for the history. <laughs> yeah. 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 But you know, Daryl. Yeah. I was, do we have a list of what our events are? I, I don't think there's an official list, but I think that's it. I think it's literally the skateboard competition, which it used to be the whole, the, the cultural, the heritage festival and skateboard competition. The mm -hmm. skateboard competition kind of kept going and the festival kind of fell, fell off. Okay. Um, and other than that, I believe it's just our participation in the Martin Luther King celebration. Okay. Um, I think that's the only two official things that we do. Okay. Is that, is that your understanding, Lupe? Yes. All right. And that kind of goes with our goal too, I believe. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, and if I could um, make a recommendation to Daryl's point, I was going to ask, you know, maybe uh, knowing that right now it's just been those two and historically three, whether we um, 
have a date like maybe it's the first meeting of the year in January or maybe it's in December where we put that call out to members and if there are any new events we know that are coming up, any calendar observances, observances that we want to change or add to, maybe we have that as an agenda item for the January meeting so that folks can bring kind of either their suggestions, representations, blah, 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 and together as a group we can vet which ones we want to get behind for the whole year and which ones we don't. Um, I mean, in that vein, I, I copied you guys on, for example, Glenn Wells observations for the next 12 months. Um, we're taking the actual observances list that Meg and the branding committee and this committee helped put together. And so that would be one, for example, I'd bring to an agenda item to this group to say, CSL is doing this. We'd love to tag along and co-brand this with the Human Relations Commission so that your stamp is supporting all of these events this year. So maybe that's an agenda item or a working goal that we tackle at the beginning of every calendar year. Just so we know from January to December, this is what we can anticipate um, getting behind. Jennifer did mention they are bringing back um, the Day of the Child. I think it's going to be in May. I'm assuming CSL will be a co-sponsor in that or either the IEC, the Independence Ethnic Commission. So that would be one where, you know, hopefully whoever is kind of chairing events would represent that event and bring that up when it gets closer to time. So just that's thoughts. a great idea. So we wouldn't like um, do the Heritage Festival, but we help with that Day of the Child. Right, because I think a lot of civic groups are starting to do some of their own, you know, observations. So if we don't have to lead the whole lift the whole time, it would be great to be exactly. able to support those who are already doing stuff in the yep. year. That sounds great. Hey, Pat, so, go ahead. If I could just jump in, if I could jump in super quick, I'm sorry. Um, if we could, if we could come up with a list and also what. I understand that you guys put your stamp of approval on some things, but there are other things, for instance, like the MLK that do have a price tag that goes with it. I need to know what that is ASAP. And the reason is, is because four years ago, the commission no longer had a budget. And if we need oh. to have a budget, I need to know ASAP because we're doing budget projections and budget projects and we're getting ready to go through. And so um, I'm going to need to know that fairly quickly um, what it is exactly that the commission is needing. And the other thing I wanted to mention was Nina had sent an email and for some reason I can't pull it up right now. It could be because I'm recording this, but um, she said that the HRC is also a very big supporter um, and contributor to the Black History Program that is taking place at a local church on February 27th. I don't know what that entails, so I'm going to I'm going to need your all's help on that as well because I don't I don't I don't want to not provide what's needed to you all for this particular event. Right. I've been to that several years representing the commission, but we never gave any monetary contribution. We just showed up for our support to my knowledge. That's what it is. The and you're Lupe, you're referring to the Martin Luther King. Yeah, uh, no, the um Black History. Yes, Black History. So again, it's kind of the same thing. We're just a supporter of this. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that's a. Uh, yeah. All right. So um, we can probably uh, touch base with Nina as well to get her input on that. Um, and I think that would be a great thing to like come together and bring all those events like that together for the January meeting. Like Meredith said, I think that January meeting can be, um, let's focus on and pin down all these events that we're gonna be attaching our names to. And then we can decide, you know, how much are we gonna be involved in those events and how much are we collaborating with those events and or just sponsor or just supporting those events. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, sorry, I keep wanting to call Samantha Meredith. I apologize. <laughs> guests waiting to join in the lobby do you did, i you, i accepted her Is she okay not? it might just have been a clear notification that i didn't let go of okay. oh the virgin okay. see her there all right um great so let's uh um the recap of that would be um oops um so for the january meeting what we want to do is create a um a list of all the events that um hrc 
has a connection to or puts on that kind of a thing. And then so we kind of will create a, a little strategic planning for January for our events. And then. Um, Sam, if I guess if you could just send out an email to the whole list of group of people asking for, please respond and giving putting your input in the his, the historic event participation that HRC has. You got it. And if it's helpful found and um, to both you and Sam, since we missed January, I can help be a facilitator of that conversation. So if um, Sam puts a call out for those items, whether it's historic participation and then um, I have, like I said, a quick short list, it's probably five and six total of um, observances um, throughout the year this year. Um, if that's an agenda item for February, maybe we can talk through that and see if, if we want, if they, we know of something that's already connected to that, we want to do something, or do we want to support something? I'd be willing to walk us through that agenda item next month. Awesome. Thank you, Meredith. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Um, you brought up a, a, a point that I guess, I guess we should think about as, as a commission. You talk about budget. Um, I don't know really what that means for us or if we need to if we need to think about it and if we do need to think about it, what's our drop dead date on getting you information. Great question. Um, I'm going to say between now and February we're going to need. I would say the day of our February meeting we need to have a solid number um, if we're going to. It's going to be a phased approach, Daryl. So if if I send this email out to, or when I send this email out today and I come back and there's 17 different events that are going on and of the 17, six of them are something that the HRC needs to provide something to, we need to come up with a pretty solid guesstimate as to what that's going to cost. So if you tell me that the MLK award, we need to budget, let's say $50 and the skateboard, we need to budget something else or all of those are donations, whatever. I need a pretty solid number by the end of our February meeting. Okay. Just because, I mean, I've got ongoing conversations now, so. Yeah. So can you put that as a part of your question, Sam? Maybe we, for priority, we start with historical. You ask members historically what have been events that we've gotten behind and or provided support for, and then just a you know quick what was it, what that support looked like, how many HRC members you know supported or you know liaised to that, and then you know were there any ex expenses, and then you know estimate how much. So that hopefully of the ones we know historically we've participated in, it's less than five that we physically provided some support to. Then when we're considering other ones, um, hopefully just to begin with, it is just presence and partnership and not necessarily some financial obligation. Unless we are specifically asked by that group. You got it. That sounds wonderful. All right, uh, so anything else on the event organizing? Sounds like we got some good motivation forward with that. I'm excited to see what that brings. All right, so uh, next up on the agenda, I have review goals. So this was just a continuation of that item agenda, uh, that item that I addressed in the previous minutes. Um, so was there any reports back that anybody, after reviewing their our goals and agendas, that they had any, any particular thoughts? or of any kind about their uh, individual agenda, not their individual strategic planning goal from our. So I'll start. I um, said I was going to tackle number one, um, and I think this one, you said it was in progress, but most of our green for 2022 has already been done. We did with Sam support land on a meeting schedule. Um, we did go ahead and elect officers. We had actually started that last year. Um, I don't know, Sam, if our officers have terms. If we talked about that, I can't remember. I mean, I have to refresh my memory on that. Um, and then that strategic planning session, we counted that um, joint conversation with DEI before it um, merged with this group as strategic planning. What we probably should do, um, that my recommendation would be since all these action items are all but complete um, 
take a stab at um, updating these for 2022 slash 23 to see if there's some other things that we'd like to add to this. Like we've done the reorganization and refocusing um, now to some of the points that Mike has made, for example, I think it's time to turn our attention to what else, what all is the HRC expected to do this calendar year. Um, one of those actions items might be um, attend, you know, one of the upcoming city council work sessions so we can hear directly from the city council what their hopes or expectations of the HRC are, because I don't know that we can create those in a vacuum. So my summary and recommendations, I think we have successfully completed all of the ones on the current document from August 21 that we update um, the action items for 2022 and perhaps somehow liaise with the city council to figure out um, if they can inform and shape what their expectations for this group is for this year. Perfect. Um, Sam, are, are you able to make those updates to this document? Okay. And for cool. So, and again, I don't know that I have everybody. Um, Anthony, did you remember what item you took? Uh, sure. I was on number four, which is uh, make recommendations to the mayor and city council regarding methods of eliminating prejudice, intolerance, bigotry, and discrimination in the community. Um, I had shared it previously with Sam. I don't know if it got recorded, but I did a PowerPoint. It was awful. Um, but uh, long and short of it is we completed pretty much everything on there. Uh, there's a couple of outstanding things, um, and maybe this is just me being new, but I don't uh, have any record of us doing an actual presentation to the city council. I think that goes along with what Meredith is saying. Maybe during a study session, the HRC, someone, all of us, whatever, can compile a presentation, talk about what we've accomplished in the last 12 to 18 months. Uh, also talk about our focus, what we're gonna do going forward, where our areas are that we, uh, um, where we see that we need to spend our time, but also get feedback from them on, um, what they want to see in the HRC, if we want to just be reactive or proactive or how we want to handle that. And then um, one suggestion I, I came up with is maybe um, getting a defined uh, contact process between the city council and this committee. Uh, maybe, I don't know if we go through, uh, you know, your own individual council person or if we appoint someone as the contact person, but just make sure that they know exactly who to reach out to should they have something for us to work on and vice versa. We have someone we can go directly to if we need. So I would say I would say with that, if you guys need to get a hold of council, you'd go through me via email. I would then go through Becky, the city clerk, and she would get a hold of the correct council. Um, that does that's not to say that you guys can't go directly to council, but as a streamlined process, just trying to make sure that everyone's on the same page and that all I's are dotted, T's are crossed, and things you know are getting done and responses are being had, that would probably be the easiest way. Um, as far as pre presenting to council, I think that's a great idea. Uh, it will it would most it would be most beneficial to probably do it as a study session as opposed to doing it um, at the council meeting itself because uh, that will allow the council additional time to be able to talk back and forth and ask questions. Uh, that is best done, and I don't know if if that would be comfortable, but it would be best done um, by having, you know, like the chair be the presenter, uh, having just that one single point of contact as opposed to having, you know, five or six people trying to talk about the same thing. Um, and then I will I will mention this, although this doesn't mean that work needs to stop by any means. You may get some direction if you are to go forward with this presentation prior to April. Uh, I've got to get my months right here. Prior to April, because obviously we are in an election season, so there is the potential of change. Uh, so it may be something that the HRC wants to consider. Again, that does not mean that work stops. It just means that you know we may. We may want to get the presentation ready and present it in April, May, um, or it could be something to go ahead and and just push through in, in March and. OK, um, um, can I interject that? Yeah. Yes, you may. Do you remember in the past, the chairman, it, um, they were um, calendared in like every January, the chair would give a report on the commission. 
because I remember giving it three times. Yeah. So I think, do they schedule it, um, Sam, Sam, or do we just? So you, as the HRC, would tell me that you guys want to do a presentation, and then I would actually put it on the agenda in the special system that the city clerk has. Okay. You would, and we you would do it every every January. Um, we had a schedule where they tell us the the HRC's turn to present their calendar and and our goals was in January. So I don't know if that do you remember we did that. Oh, yeah. But absolutely, mm -hmm. we've obviously. Yeah. Done that. so that's a very good uh, point that uh, Anthony brought up. It's good, good to know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we were definitely due. Um, I think, I think our our last two not having our last two meetings kind of kind of threw us for a loop of getting organized organized and getting more conversations to having us move forward. So, uh, uh, Anthony, I would love to see the PowerPoint that you made. Um, just to see if that's something that it could be a base for. Um, and if you wouldn't mind like taking the charge of creating and tweaking that for the presentation that we decide um, to use kind of a thing. Um, and then, I mean, I don't obviously the chair as the chair, I'll, I'll get up and speak, but if anyone's heart is moving them to want to do it, I think it would be open to anybody. Um, but, um, and then so I guess everybody think about if we want it sooner than later, do we want to wait before this election cycle or do we want to wait till after the election cycle? I would suggest wait till after the election cycle, just simply because you'll have new council people and it's better to get them up updated from the very start than have to do it twice because you'd end up have to do it twice. We did before and then you have to do it again for new new council members. All right, Sam, when would the first study session in April be? Sorry, two seconds. No worries. You are looking at the 11th and the 25th. April um, 11th and 25th. So do we feel like the 11th would be too soon after the election? And or should we push it to the end of the month to give them a little time to sit in their chair for a sec? I would say the end of the month. Mm -hmm. All right, um, let's shoot for that then. If everyone's on board for the uh, the twenty fifth, I believe she, you said. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, they, we will uh, uh, present our delayed end of year <laughs> recap or and projection for the next year um, for HRC to the council in a study session. Yes, and, and I'll be glad to work on that uh, PowerPoint and then. Uh, if anyone has, because uh, it's going to be, you know, it's a group project really at this point. Yeah. So any suggestions or any any uh, additions, you know, just let me know on it because it's going to have plenty of space for all, all uh, opinions and all thoughts on it. So make sure and let me know those. Yeah, if you could just uh, forward that to Sam and Sam pass that out to the group so that we can um, have everybody get eyes on it. That would be awesome. Do you guys prefer my introduction email and my tell me all of your events email and the study session email? Do you do you guys prefer that to be individual emails or do you guys just want one oh, big O email? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. <laughs> all right. So um, and with. Uh, reviewing the goals. Um, is there anybody else on here that had their charge that they would like to talk about their bullet point on the goals? The the what is that statement? The Human Relations Commission. I don't know what this document's called. I always forget. It's the mission mission goals and strategies. Because if not, I feel like with what Meredith and Anthony took us through. I think that yes. will give us something to hang on to to work at right now um, and be able to get us to move further in, into that. Um, okay. All right. All right, is there any other business, any other comments from the members that we need to address?
All right, then. Well, if there is nothing else, then I feel like we've done some good work today and I would mm -hmm. um, call this meeting adjourned. Do you, need, do you need a motion? I'll move that we would let move to adjourn the meeting. Who second? Somebody Casey give seconds. Casey. Okay. All those in favor. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for your time. Um, I look forward yeah. to the following information to come from this meeting. Yay. You all have a good Monday. Thank you.